Hello? You know this? Oh, come on. I'm not a fox. I'm a lettuce leaf. Eat me. Sit cat. It's hearing you. You're bigger than the kitty. Your claws are bigger too. There's a good girl. Yum yum. Okay, so I'm making a raised bed out of salvaged barn wood. I got just under eight foot lengths there. I'd love for these to be four feet, but they are three and a half. So take the nails out, cut a square edge, and we're good to go. Should take just a couple minutes, which means it's gonna take a half hour. four by four in here. Sweet. That it's clean and clear. That's locked. One thing that's amazing is how quiet it's on. Where did the board go? Right there. Okay, these, this one is square, so I take as little as possible to square this edge. Keep it tight on the fence. I've learned not to try and cut it all at once. Could mark it with a pencil, but if you forgot a pencil, use the other board as a template. Slide it out of here. With my knee. Perfect. Clear, no nails, hands clear. Now, if you have kids, lock it, lock your arm, lock your axis, take out your batteries. Now the kids can't use it. Remember, safety first. There was an old um, poster in one of the chem labs I worked in with this blind lady with a walking stick and a seeing eye dog, it said, Carol didn't wear her safety glasses. Now she doesn't need to. It's like, wow, thanks for the lesson. Hands are shaking, but um, my hands are still weak. So let's get what we can do, get done. What we can do, even with weak hands. 
uh, make a little raised bed. And then we'll see what we can fill it with because our budget is basically zero. Let's get it going. Well, if you don't have uh, clamps handy, you can just find a right angle. So I'm gonna hold it with that, put the top board on, drill it. All right, so where did that wood come from? Well, I cut it out of where this window is gonna be. So we hired our contractor to put some windows in the steel and I had some wood left over there. And then along this wall, there was some old shelving and I really tried to salvage it, but every time it was so cold in here when I was doing it, it was like negative 20 Fahrenheit or below. And so as soon as I pulled on it, it would just like crack and shatter. So I was able to get some of it, but not all of it. So if you know somebody who does construction and demolition, maybe chat with them, see if you can uh, go with them to a job site or get there early and do a little demo and get some free wood. Um, but wood's crazy expensive right now, so everyone's kind of doing their best to hold on to what they got. Otherwise, I was just gonna go outside and cut down some trees, old trees, poplars that need to be thinned and just cut it with a chainsaw and use that, but it's cold and this will work well enough for what we're doing. So. That's it. Uh, my goal is to make a raised bed just with material on hand so I can start moving those nursery plants I showed you that are inside, outside, start hardening them off. And I have a lot of tree seeds I want to actually sprout outside so I don't need to transplant them more than just the once. Um, so I'm gonna need a little height on this. So I'll either use pipes or I will use like a just bent PVC or I'll rig up some sort of scaffold. So we'll see how it goes. I got some hinges from those same shelves. So I took these shelves off and they still have hinges. So not super heavy duty, but absolutely something I can probably use. So I'm gonna keep building. We'll see what we can get done today. Right, bud? That's not snow, that's fiberglass. <laughs>
Now you're filming. So you try and hold it steady. Just keep it pointed that way, okay? Okay. All right, got it? Mm -hmm. You're doing great. I gotta flip this over the top because I can't get the gate open. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. We're gonna have to prune these raspberries too. I know how to get the gate open. What? I know how to get the gate open. Keep pointing it at me though, okay? Thanks. I know how to get the, the gate open. I know, but it's, it's frozen in the hard snow. Okay? Okay. All right. Do the booty boy. Oh. You're breaking raspberries. They're okay. Good little raspberries. Ow. They're sassy. They bit you. Here we go. It's really nice when you can walk on the snow instead of sinking into it. Yeah. I'm gonna get him. Okay. Have you done filming? No. Can you keep doing it? Mm -hmm. You mind? Is it still recording? Yeah. Is it red and the number's getting bigger? You mean red. Yep, the number's getting bigger. Okay. Ready? Keep recording. Oh, I don't get to have any fun now. Give me one minute, bud. Let me just get this over here, okay? Ready? Thanks, buddy. Good work. High five. Thanks for filming. This is a... And they don't want to eat that white stuff either, right? Oh, a chestnut. Chestnut crab apple. Okay. Oh, I love some. It is. Whew, almost 80 in here, bud. So, oh no. That zip tie didn't work. That's, um... What we set up yesterday we got some ropes in here considering how cheap this place was it's holding up rather well keep this out of the snow keep an eye on it this one has high and low which is nice so i want to see how cold it gets at night probably actually here put it on the ground we'll see how cold it gets at night right on the ground and as soon as it stays above freezing to start putting our plants in here. Hi. No, you don't want to Apple, yum. Okay, I'll put it right there for you. She's just crunching in there. So why are the rabbits in cages? Come on, come on, dude. Don't you like free range animals? I love free range animals. And right now we have free range foxes that are just always here. So to protect them, they're in their little cages. Well. Pretty big cages, actually, inside a little, what could be a chicken coop. And I'm just keeping them safe for now. As soon as things are warmed up a little, they'll be back outside. But for now, I would rather them comfortable than dead. So everyone's got plenty. She's got a ton of straw in her house. Steve didn't want a house, so he's just got a huge pile of straw and I change that for him regularly. 
Cat's back, I can hear her talking. She's been hiding too. Puffy. See, she's scared. Normally they come right out and play, but. Come on, you this? Oh, come on. I'm not a fox. I'm a lettuce leaf. Eat me. Sit, cat. Hearing you. You're bigger than the kitty. Your claws are bigger too. There's a good girl. Yum yum. So, I do like my rabbits. I like them a lot. Okay, everyone's got a treat. And treat's not the right word. Everyone's got a super nutrient dense piece of food that is good for them. Hey, Oz. Oz says, What is the friendliest rabbit? But something really spooked him in the last couple days. So, he's been just kind of hunkered. Hey, bud. What are you thinking about? He ate most of his house. Is that a good house? You grumpy? You grumpy bunny? Yeah, I was hoping, I was hoping I could get the rabbits to make more rabbits, but after it was negative 30 for a week, I think they're still kind of recovering from that. So it's about 24 degrees right now in the sun. Uh, I've got a t-shirt on and a hat. It's about 80 in the little greenhouse. This, hey love, man, she's eating the whole thing already. So rabbits are fun. <laughs> She'll eat a, between the four rabbits, we could take pretty much a whole head of lettuce and they'll turn that whole head of lettuce right into compost in about 12 to 24 hours instead of, you know, waiting six months for the compost. So, all right, whew, cold, off we go, back home. Home again, home again, jiggity jig.